Yo guys, surprise, surprise, we have a new unit over here which was also released with the Queen and the Crown DLC, the Norska DLC. And it was a very big surprise because there wasn't any announcement from CA about this. So we have this new bone giant over here, this beautiful looking unit. And um, of course, this is a little addition to my latest faction guide with the Tomb Kings. Because of course, I didn't knew something like this. I didn't knew that something like this is coming. But let's take a closer look on the uh, on the stats and let's talk a second. Um, let's talk for a second about the bone giant. So first of all, you can say the bound giant really counts as a artillery unit. He's not really a, a missile infantry unit or missile monster. He's a monstrous artillery unit, you can say. We have a huge range of 350, so this is incredible high. So it's the highest range amount any um, uh, missile infantry units overall. But as I said, he's an artillery unit because the reload time is really long so I will I didn't count it but I would I would say 15 seconds to 20 seconds from run shot up to another shot so it, it will take some time till he uh, is able to shoot another arrow but therefore we have a huge damage output of a missile damage of 500 nearly 550 and we have a huge amount of armor piercing missile damage of 304 and we have a incredible high splash damage so we have an explosive base damage of 102 and an explosive armor piercing damage of 66 and also very incredible very strong over here is the fact that the bone giant has a bonus versus large of 150 so this is a lot of stuff <laughs> but i wouldn't really say that the bone giant is designed especially to shoot on large entities of course with the bonus it's worth to shoot on large monsters but we have also a huge splash damage as i already mentioned and that tells you he's also designed to shoot in infantry groups or in yeah in groups with, of monsters with several entities or something like that so you can shoot really on everything he's really all rounder you can say quite interesting is that the bone giant causing um, magical attacks when it comes to the missile damage so not the weapon strength not the not in melee combat but the missiles causing magical attacks and he's quite heavily armored or the amount of armor is quite okay with 80 and also we don't have to forget the bone giant is still a giant so we have not the best melee melee stats we have a melee attack of 30 and a melee defense of 25 what is not really high but we have a weapon strength of 400 and a amount of ammo piercing damage of 300 so this is quite good but as i said therefore the melee stats are very low so the bone giant is quite similar to the uh, Saigur of the Beastman when it comes to the unit type, but of course we have different unit stats. So if you run out of ammunition, the bone giant is really able to fight in melee combat, but I wouldn't do this in the in first place, of course not. The, his real strength is the missile damage. So we have a unit price of 1600 credits, the same price like the Saigur of the Beastman, so he's quite pricey, I would say. So time will tell how this goes in the meta game. It's possible that he's too high priced and just in some cases worth to bring, but we will see. So thank you for tuning in and see you on the next unit guide.